This Photoshop tutorial is how to blend two halves of faces together. Let's drop in our high resolution picture. And uh, this picture is too large, so we'll crop it. There's too much blank space, but the pixel count is high, so that doesn't matter. I'm going to leave a little bit extra blank space and then we'll do a final cropping at the end. Now we'll change our image size. If it's too big, um, Photoshop will be a little bit slower. So let's make our height about um, 900. Now we're going to zoom in and fit that on the screen. Uh, let's just fit it on the screen. Okay, and now we're bringing in our secondary image. And we're going to zoom out just a bit, just so that we can stretch it. And in order to size it, we're going to blend it or change our opacity. 50% is good. And what we want to do is we want to line up the eyes, nose and mouth as best as we can. And it's going to take a few iterations for this to be correct. And we want to line up the ears roughly. But mostly the eyes, nose, and mouth. Now I'm looking at the nose. That's not too bad. We want to just pull it over just a little bit. You can see me and my son have very similar noses. If your heads are tilted a little bit differently, then you'll want to also adjust the tilt. But I think our heads are adjust tilted fairly similarly. Okay, once that's done, uh, we'll do some, we'll accept that. What we need to do next is, since our top of our heads don't line up, we're going to use the rectangular tool. Copy, paste. Transform. Oops. Transform. I'm going to adjust my for my head forehead to be halfway to his forehead. That's good. So we'll accept that. And I'm just going to make the opacity 100% to check, and that's okay. So I'm going to merge the two layers. I'm going to change the opacity back down to 50%. I'm going to remove the lock on this layer. And I'm going to take my son's forehead, copy, and paste, and Command T to transform. And we need to bring his head down just a touch so that we line up. And I think that's lined up. And we'll hit Enter. Turn off my layer. And we haven't distorted his forehead too much. He'll be happy to hear that. 
again we want to merge layers now that everything's lined up we can now add our mask layer we want to add our mask layer to reveal all and we're going to get a brush here And we want to paint the black areas. I'm going to make a larger We want to make a larger brush and remove my half of the picture here. And we want we want to have a, a sharp edge for now. And we want to let go of the left mouse button every once in a while so that you can undo mistakes. Okay, you can see that the edging is very harsh, which is fine, because we want his details to show up on his half. Now we want to get a very soft edge. This is where we're blending more carefully and now we can start taking the opacity away and we can look at how it's blending we want the hairline to be more gradual you can see that we're not doing like exact 50 50 split right down the middle we want to uh, make the blending careful. And the good thing about the mask layer is that um, we don't lose our original pictures. We can blend gradually and uh, repair any unwanted blends. There we go. And that completes our picture. Looks a little freaky, but not too much. You can see some family resemblance there. And let me just load up another completed picture for you. And that one's with my daughter. And you can see how I blended carefully so that uh, the hairlines try to match. And you want to blend the lip areas and particularly the nose and mouth to try to match it. And that's it for this lesson.